Like, I like to think I'm somebody who's private about personal things, but then sometimes I, I blurt things out too. So, and I don't really know where that line is that I want people, of things that I want people to know about me, and what I don't know, because I want to be a genuine person. I think a lot of those things you have to talk about with people, but there is a line of privacy and discretion that's important so I don't know Jonah Yoshanis. I am the sole member of Perrin. I play drums, guitar, and vocals. I play the vocals. I write and record the music. Started playing in like second grade when my family got this old electronic drum kit that you could just drum along to all these little like cheesy backbeat things. And then started playing in bands in high school and in college and in environments, starting off in coffee shops and covers, and then eventually writing original songs. I played music in a lot of different environments, I guess, and in different capacities, whether my stuff or filling in for other people, or playing cover sets with people. I met a lot of good people through that. I'm just going to make a backbeat, but I'm making it from one, another little cover thing that I did before because I liked the snare sound in it, so I'm just deleting everything and saving it as a different file. But I'm just going to make a simple little backbeat to try to write something over.
I have, I should just move it all to one spot because it's like not consolidated the sound. It's not exactly a linear way or direction that I write in, reasoning why. Like it's, an event could trigger something specific, it could be like an explicit um, action and reaction to something, or it could be something um, kind of I've been dwelling on for a while, for a period of time. So sometimes it's not forced, but sometimes it's more exerted intentionally and sometimes it's more re received. Yeah, it's probably it's easier to ex express myself in songs and in the and at least working out the kinks of how I feel about things or difficulties. <laughs> I like the melody, uh, just word-wise, if it goes anywhere else too. I guess I should take the chords off the bottom and see if there's another part. It's gonna be repetitive like this for a while. A lot of times I'm still trying to understand what I'm expressing in that, rather than just talking about things. I think I'm just gonna keep it like that and probably vamp on things, but I gotta just probably get a couple more lines. I don't really know what I wanna say. Um, like, I don't like rushing things, but I've been on such a dry spell that I'm okay with the idea of a deadline forcing me to finish something. And this is one that I've had, like, every, I mean, when I have been writing bits, I'm like, oh, finally, I'm like getting out of it. But right now I'm realizing that I haven't been getting out of it because right now I feel a lot more of the, like, I mean, even just tangibly, I'm, feeling tired, but excited about it. Uh, so I'm just trying to use this time crunch to actually cut through a song, but I'm really feeling weird. It's weird that I am trying to play this tonight while writing it tonight, because normally I'd like to sit on, I've been getting into a rhythm of sitting on songs for a really long time before feeling okay playing them, because normally I just go, I would feel like I in high school I would do this. But I'm also okay, I'm more okay with it now. Maybe it's just because I haven't written anything in a while. Either way, I just wanna, maybe if I don't play tonight, at least this is forcing me to finish something in some degree, in some draft format. But we'll see. I don't know yet. gearing up for a live show, I'll get really tense and I want it to be really good and I want everything to lock in and, and be, be great and whatnot and I'll be upset if I don't feel that. But then I'm not pushing to play a lot, like it's, it's also exhausting and then I'm not pushing to play a lot of shows because I get drained really easily from it. You're really stressed out. And maybe that would go away if I just did it more often and found people that played, like just played more consistently with.
play by myself and I'm playing my own stuff, I take a lot longer to decompress after a show. And I remember seeing that in other people that I've played for, when I played drums for my friend Devin. I remember seeing that and just not quite, you don't quite get it when you're not, when it's like I would see him get act that way after a show. And it's just, you don't get it until, unless you're playing your stuff. Jonah's probably one of the few people that makes music that I really want to listen to. And even just like today hearing him play, I was just like, man, I want to go up there and listen to that because even though I live with them, it's exciting to still hear him play. I think the lyrics always really get me too. It's more relatable than just a melody or a, or a riff or something like that. <laughs> I'm a fan of Jonah. <laughs> Can't lose him now. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> It's awesome. Always has a good, always has a good living room trick. Here we go. Oh, that was pretty. What was that? Oh no, no, no. Oh, that was pretty good. He just recently stopped wearing all black. So those are probably good, uh, probably a good character development choice. <laughs> Out of albums that have aged well, also albums that I have not opened up yet. That was a gift to me. It's Pet Sounds. Got to your back. Let's uh, Let's take it back. Oh. Damn it, I wore the slippers again. I, I was gonna put the boots on and I wore the slippers again. Was that cool? This is one of the instances where I don't know what how to get up. Kind of like life. Oh. Ugh. Oh fuck. <laughs> I trust this cat more than anything else right now. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands right after this. Why is it? No, he likes it. He I think because he's outside so much, just battling the elements. Every <laughs> once in a while, he likes mm. to just be held a little bit. Yeah. Because he's probably got fleas and ticks. Because he's get, getting right trying now. to get rid of all his fleas. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we gotta get this cat out of yeah. this wall. Get out of there. I can talk about all these movies that I got from the library. Get out of there. Then we talk about the movies like, oh, no, there's a cat, never mind. Yeah, let's get this cat out. This cat's gonna go home now. Yeah, this cat's gotta get out of my house now. This, this is fun. This shows uh, how I make the bucks. One way that I make the bucks. Valeting for Spectrum Health and working at the library. I feel stuck a lot of the times, but I feel like I don't do anything to get out of it. I don't know, I don't really have like a definitive pathway. I don't have any, I'm not in school. I'm not pushing a career, I think. I'm not pushing music stuff right now. I'm just working jobs that won't really climb a ladder for anything. So, and jobs that I'm not super into. And I, I, I don't know, right now, I think I think the universe is just gonna present something to me at some point, which maybe it would, but like I need to actually take charge a lot more than I do. I. If something stressful is coming up, I will. Like if I know maybe there'll be an email that is something that I have to like check, I just won't check my email for a week. And then it's like, then it just boils up and I check it and it's like, I should have taken care of this a while ago. But I've just been really bad at that. I like the circle window, but it, it's weird.
Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Is that the dog? Go over there. Does the, does the dog need to sign a waiver? Or do we have to blur the dog's face out? I think the things that I want people to know about me are ra or it's rather like I think I want people to be interested in me. I want to be an interesting person, but so much of that revolves around being articulate and well-spoken and charismatic and stuff, which especially doing this makes me hyper aware of my like faults in that kind of thing. So I think I just want people to think I'm interesting a lot of the times to be honest, which is weird, but. I think I'm always worried about the future, mainly fiscally, which is a really lame way to be worried about the future. Like there's, that's such a stupid, I don't know. I hate how instilled that that is, at least in myself, but I think most people have that, everybody has that problem. So. I was on a long stint of not crying for a while, but in the past like six months since things have been on the up a little bit more, and I think a little, I'm a little more emotionally in tune, but that also makes me more susceptible to moments of being emotional, especially being in a serious relationship. So some of those are happy cries, some of those are sad cries in those moments. At least just being less less apathetic and then able to actually announce those emotions to myself or if there's other people around it feels better to actually like exasperate those things from myself rather than feeling so because like for most of the time just feeling so flatlined and like knowing that you're sad but not being able to actually express uh, that yeah. is a really weird thing that you only notice once you're able to. yet it's more just makes me, me hyper aware of my shortcomings in verbalizing things and how much I lack elegance in saying what I want to say and it like especially when you watch people that you like a lot or, or that inspire you and you realize how well put together their thoughts are and, I, and you'd like to think that when you're watching that that you'd be able to come across that way but I don't think I do. I watched Isaiah sleep on the monitor screen. A brother got Sally. Watching my siblings raise kids now that are ages one to three with some odd change of months, um, 
makes me realize how much effort and love that they put into their kid and how much like you, the child won't recognize it until you become a parent. I guess it's one of those kind of cheesy, but I don't know. I was just thinking from the perspective of if I ever am a dad that I will love my child more than my child loves me until that kid has kids probably. That's the way, that's the way that I am right now probably. Sense when she sings Blue shapes, soundscapes scattering I, I mean, it's just, the only thing you can recognize about it is that you can't fully recognize it. Because once, I mean, if you're not a parent, if you don't have kids, I don't know yet. I know that I don't know. That's like the next, that was the next step after not even realizing, like it was, it was from not even knowing that there was a disconnect of love and appreciation and not realizing that there is, but not being able to qualify that and then eventually maybe being able to qualify that. But I, till then, I'm not like you, I'm not like you. Still in Paris to be back in town See my old high school classmates when I'm out They ask me what it is I plan to do well, I don't have a fucking clue But if I did what I tell you Ooh, how should I know? What I should be when most things that I've been are inchoate at best and underdeveloped me. I think I'll leave, hopefully soon, though I've grown quite accustomed to spending my time in my childhood. Ooh. 